Hey everybody, how you doing? Today I'm going to show everybody how to do a Minecraft server. Um, you've got an old computer or something that you don't use anymore. Uh, you can actually set it up and uh, install command line only. Really easy to access uh, server that you can use on your local area network. So I like to do this play with my kids. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get to it. All right. I'm going to start off by installing a Ubuntu server. This is command line only, so it'll be uh, easy to set up, I would assume. So we're going to start off, we're going to hit English. All right, here's the setup file. English, select your location. No, we don't want to configure the keyboard. I have a US keyboard. English. All right, so we'll detect the hardware. This is basically installing the server. There's going to be no graphical user interface in the end. We're just going to have a simple, no extra stuff server. All right, so our host name, we're going to make it something easy we can remember. It's just going to be called Minecraft. And the full name for the new user, the user that we're going to use is called Minecraft. A good password. This is going to be super hard for anybody to get into. We're going to use the password of Minecraft. We do not want to encrypt the home directory. There's just no need to. just going to use the guided and we're just going to use the entire disk all right this is going to give you the partitions and uh, this is okay it should be fine the way it is first thing that pops up should work for you all right it's going to change the following partitions you just want to say, say yes Okay, it's a HTTP proxy. Nobody needs this, so just hit continue. When you get to the automatic updates, you want to go ahead and install security updates automatically. It just saves you time from going in there and having to run the command line interface to do it. Okay, so here you're going to only install an open SSH server. All this other stuff we don't need at this time. So just hit the space bar on open SSH server and then hit tab to continue. You should only have one operating system on this computer since it's going to be a your own private Minecraft server so just hit yes unless you have another um, Windows installation on there you shouldn't but we're just going to hit yes because I'm assuming you don't. Okay, now it's completely installed and we've restarted. So we're going to log in like we had already set up the username and password. Now the Minecraft login was Minecraft. And the password was Minecraft as well. So it's loaded up. We're good to go. Um, there's a few things that we need to do. Ubuntu server comes with the firewall already enabled. So we need to add two exceptions. sudo UFW allow 22. So that's going to allow the SSH access into the server. The next, we're going to add 25565, which is the port that Minecraft needs to connect. 25565. So with these two things enabled, you'll be allowed to connect into your Minecraft server. Okay. Next, you're going to type in a command called ifconfig. So you type ifconfig, and it's going to come up, and it's going to show you the Ethernet address. 
If you look at ETH0, under INETADDR, it says 192.168.1.102. You need to write that down because that's the address you're going to type into PuTTY to SSH into your server. So here we are. We're just going to exit this, and we're going to leave it right here like this. I'm going to unplug my monitor and keyboard from this computer and just leave it plugged in near the router. You're not going to need the keyboard and mouse plugged into it anymore. So go get onto your normal computer and we'll start it up and we'll uh, SSH into it. Okay, now that we have the server all set up and ready to go, uh, connected to the local area network, we jump on our computer and we open up the program PuTTY. And here we're going to type in the IP address of the computer that we had pulled from the ifconfig command. We're going to use port 22 and we're going to use SSH because we had already installed that on the server. All right, now that we're all ready and got our stuff installed and connected through SSH on our own computer, we're going to go ahead and get this thing all updated. We're going to add uh, a repository, which is linked to download the Oracle Java, which is one of the requirements to have when you're running a Minecraft server. So we're going to write these things down in sequence. If you just look down, Underneath this video, you can see all the commands that you're going to need to type in to get this to work. So let's get started. We're going to use the first one, and we're going to go ahead and add a repository. And it's a uh, sudo add apt repository ppa web update team slash java. your password and it's going to pop up and give you all these things we're going to say enter we do want to add it okay so it'll apt get update it's going to pop up with all these little things here okay now we're going to go ahead and upgrade our system sudo apt get upgrade this is going to install all the stuff that's come out since you got your CD downloaded from the Ubuntu website Okay, now that we're all done, we're going to go ahead and install some of the things that we're going to need to actually run the program. So, um, once again, look down below and you'll follow the next one. sudo apt get install. We're going to just put them all in one line, see if it runs. We want nano git unzip screen and java 8 installer okay i'm going to take out the java 8 installer okay so that last one that we tried to do was just a little bit wrong we're going to redo it and then just put oracle in front oracle pack java 8 pack installer and it finds it we're going to agree to the binary license code agreement push yes and it'll install okay now we have our Java 8 installed and Minecraft will run so let's go get that downloaded all right, what we're going to be installing is a Spigot MC Minecraft server. So this buildtools.jar will build you a craft bucket server and it'll build you a spigot server. Each one of these is a moddable um, server and you can only run one at a time, but um, you can ch pick or choose which one you want. Buildtools will create and install the jar file that's going to run correctly in your Minecraft server. You're going to want to have to check here often because sometimes they come out with updates that'll fix your server. You don't have to take it down or redo anything, but 
If you come over here and look, 49 was done on March 1st, 2016. And that's when they finished the Minecraft 1.9 build for these for Spiga MC. So go to here. Um, the link will be down in the in, in the bottom section. And right click build tools dot jar and just copy link location. Then when you go back into your server, you can paste that in and re download the new one and run the command.